Danny McNamara of Embrace, how are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. First question is, I haven't heard anything from Embrace in ages. Where have you been? I've just been having a little bit of a break. Um, I've started up a new nightclub called The After Show in Manchester, and uh, it's going from strength to strength, so I'm kind of enjoying that. I'm uh, writing a book as well. Um, and just this week, I actually started writing new material for the next Embrace album. Um, Which will be when? Uh, probably next year now, I think, at, at the earliest. We're so not, 2009? Shit. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to rush it. I mean, is it, I mean, obviously you had a single first time round and had a bit of a break and everything went quiet for you. Are you worried about that will happen again, that it, you'll have to take another big single to get yourself back into the limelight in 2009? I think you should always treat each album as though it's your first album when you've got a break, like you're a new band. Otherwise, you're just trying to relive old glories and you just become like a cheap cabaret band. And... We've always been about sort of making sure that the albums were right before we come back, and I, I needed a break because pretty much from the age of 17 until like I'm 37 now, so 20 years. Like 20 years. That's of, my GCSE and maths coming out there. Of, yeah, of working on music, and I just needed a break from it. Uh, although not from music itself, because obviously like booking new bands and stuff mm. and watching new bands all the time, but just needed a break from kind of the front line, if you like. And, and Does now it get I'm kind you of after raring to go again. Does it get to you after a while? I um, mean, did after a bit, yeah. It's kind of, I mean, it's the best job in the world, and I and I, there's no f sort of finer feeling than writing a great song and playing in front of you know, you know, adulation and all, all the crowds and everything. But there's a downside to it as well that's really difficult. There's a lot of politics and a lot of backbiting and a lot of pressure put on you as well to perform and stuff. Which I'm not really a celebrity, and I don't really sort of fit into that niche and. Um, I've always thought of myself as a, a bit more of an outsider than that, and so when we got all the massive success that we got with the last couple of albums and stuff, I just felt like a bit of a fish out of water, and so I kind of need to take a step back from it a little bit. Because I remember reading a quote for you at the time, it was after you know you came back, and I think Ashes was a big single, um, there was a there was a quote from you saying it was quite good because after the first album I didn't spend you know I didn't spunk all my money didn't waste it all really quickly put it all aside so you could then take your time and then come back again would that be some advice you give to a new band? Well I didn't I didn't go and like live in uh, an island in in the Seychelles somewhere and yeah it's not it all up my nose like a lot of sort of rock stars seem to do um, but um, yeah I, I, don't, I don't really spend money I don't I don't really need anything I don't you know I just pretty much just on cabs really. So <laughs> pretty much all I spend my money on. I mean, I'm not tight, you know, like, spend it, but I don't have, like, a car or a jet or, you know, all those crappy cliche, you know, supermodel type things. I just, it's not really my style at all, really. You said you're, like, you're booking new bands now. If there was yeah. going to be a band that, if 2008 is going to be there, yeah, who have you seen? Um, I think Twisted Wheel are really good. Um, the Ting Ting's are really good. Uh, most people know about them, but there's one that you won't know about that um, you're definitely going to hear about called the Cheyennes. Uh, absolutely amazing and they haven't done a gig yet but the first place they're ever going to play they've promised me is the after show so that's that's cool. your club yeah and say there was a band out there who are listening to XFM right now who wanted to send you their demo do you accept all material are you a geek in the sense that anything yeah you yeah I'm a bit of a train spotter I go I go on MySpace all the time and uh, the best way to get in touch with me is just to go on, on myspace.com forward slash the after show um, and if you're good you'll hear back from me within a week Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, let's play a single now. Uh, if we're going to play one of yours, which single would you say would be best of the um, Embrace singles An Embrace play? song. Because um, I was always a fan of Ashes. Yeah, I really like Ashes. Should we go with yeah, Ashes? Play that, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Danny McNamara.